Martha Stewart is on a self-proclaimed rampage to get workers back into the office, explaining in a recent interview, you can't possibly get everything done working three days a week in the office and two days remotely. Look at the success of France with their stupid, you know, off for August policies, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> That's not a very thriving country. Should America <laughs> go down the drain because people don't want to go back to work? And she doubled down on these comments yesterday. Of work is very creative and it is very collaborative. Yeah. And I cannot really stomach another Zoom, you yeah. know, Zoom here, Zoom there. Uh, it just doesn't get the work done in the right way. I just don't agree with it. Yeah. I just don't. I agree with what some of what she said and other parts not. But I mean, for me, sometimes it's nice to have remote work when you can do it, especially when you're a mom, though it is harder with lots yeah. of kids, as you yeah. know. No, so me and Kevin got into this. I was hosting uh, Jesse Waters, and this topic came up about work from home. There are some things that people have to be in the office for, and there are other things yes. that they don't. My concern, because I talk a lot on my podcast about love and marriage and prioritizing that, I'm concerned about a lot of young people being home and not being in the office and not being out and, and about and not able to meet and, find, and, and do the most important work of their life, which is to find love and to and to get their personal lives in order. So that's my concern that we're seeing a lot of sort of people turning into cat women too soon. Yeah, now that's an excellent point. Like young people <laughs> should be out there meeting people in the workplace, but like a mom who, you know, benefits from a remote yeah. schedule, I, that's different. Well, I agree with that. News <laughs> flash, this just in, young people have been figuring out how to get together for generations. <laughs> Of, of where well, they, the, but the marriage rate know, and, the marriage rate and, and, and baby rates have plummeted. I get it, but I want to make a point here about the economy that's changed because I live and breathe it every day with our portfolio of companies and getting the data is what's interesting to me. We found out now, we made the assumption two years ago that 15, one five percent wouldn't return. We're wrong, it's 40. And here's the areas of the sectors of the economy that they're not returning. Accounting, compliance, financial services and logistics. These are the jobs that used to be in cubicles in the basements of corporations, particularly here in New York City. You can see about 50% of the offices that are B grade are empty. They're never going to fill up again. Hmm. They're going to have to be converted into condos or climate controlled storage. The economy's changed radically. The problem with saying everybody has to work in the office is you won't be able to hire the best talent. When we went out for financial services people in our operating company, the best talent told us if I have to come into an office and sit in a cubicle and drive for 45 minutes each day into a war-torn city like San Francisco, mm, which we were trying to hire in, I'm not doing it. I don't want to get shot on my way to work. I mean, this is another problem. Safety in large cities like Chicago, San Francisco, you know, some parts of New York City, L.A. these days, nobody wants to work in these places. They're war zones. But and so they want to work where they get their job done. And the reason it works is project management. If you're in financial services, get the quarter done by midday on Thursday, 12 noon, give it to the compliance officer at 12.01. I don't care when you do that. But Kevin, but Kevin, major corporations though are pushing back on the work at home issue. And we're seeing Google do it and Disney and others because they're realizing that productivity is down. U.S. worker productivity is down. We have that data from the government. And look, Google has instituted, like many companies, mass layoffs this year. So, you know, this younger generation that has been, a lot of them went to work during COVID and were able to work from home. They think that that's correct. And I, I I think that the shift is actually changing, and I love that Martha Stewart called out the French. I will say I did see a graphic when Julian was in for <laughs> Harris last hour, Kevin, that it did show young people are becoming increasingly isolated. Yes. And that's a scary trend if they're yes. not in the workplace. I'm pretty sure they're going to figure it out. They're losing communication skills. They're learning, losing all kinds of social skills. You told me you cared about Amore. Remember <laughs> I, love, I love Amore. I love Amore. I love Amore. I'm a big fan. But lo well, I've always said this. For some Amore. <laughs> love will find a way. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, they get together in other places. They, I, I really, really think the economy has changed, but we'll see. You know, frankly, if you say everybody has to come to the office, you'll get the third tier candidates. You're not going to get the El Supremo. Yeah. And I care about talent. I want great team members. And if they tell me, I, I don't want to work in an office, but I'm number one at what I do, I'll go with the number one with what good I point. do. Good point. Yeah. Very good point. Yep. Yeah. Well, more outnumbered in just a moment. Hey everyone, I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.